some sort of tourist attraction that they're trying to fill out. And this is what that looks like. Some sort of ruins for sure. So just so you see how massive these ruins are, there you go. Try uh, restoring this. Some more ruins, so that was the last area we were at. And from this angle, you can clearly see a church of some sort. So here are more ruins on the other side of the road. And this one looks like you can get a lot closer to it. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, this is nuts. You can actually go even further. Okay, we're gonna walk through some ruins to get to the other side. What is over here? Oh, they got some video cameras right there. I don't know what that is. Small hoses or whatever it is. You know, it's two layers. Two layers of Oh, you can see the tiling in here. So we discovered a way to get down a little bit further, just right there. <laughs> this was old Rome. You know how many meters underground it was. All that dirt piled up over time. So even more ruins on this side here. Let's check out that. Here's a closer up shot of this structure. Apparently it used to be a mall. It's now a museum. I don't know what this is, but uh, it's one giant piece of something that has a record over time. So I don't know where the original is. Here we go. So this thing is the frieze, which is this column right here. So as you see in the column, it spirals up and whoever did the column decided to have a timeline history. So here's this gigantic incredible monument, which I have no clue what it is, but taking the bus, driving by here, this is what drew me to this whole area. And someone mentioned where the Colosseum was, and because I saw the Colosseum, I just followed the road. And it's such an incredible sight, which is why light rail or surface transit is so incredible to draw people to different places instead of just the subway. Okay, this is how crazy it is to cross the road in Rome. Okay, so I discovered what this giant monument is and it has nothing to do with government even though it looks very stately, it looks like a government building but it's dedicated to the unknown soldier and it's, uh, it was built after the First World War and there's two soldiers there, you can't really see it from here there's two live soldiers standing there guarding the unknown soldier there and this blows my mind how much was spent to build this, you know, that's how much freedom, that's how much a life means to them, you know, the people that uh, helped Italy out during the war. Traveling on the tram. So they call the LRT the tram here. Because it is a tram. I guess our LRT is several tram cars. So it's just past 11 right now, and the last train that we were supposed to get on was at 10.57, so we had to find another route through Google Maps. We are taking bus H. Now this is how full the bus is. Everyone was cheering. And bus. Came across a roadside shrine. Late night dinner. I got my pizza pie from McDonald's. It looks like this. It's on the kids menu. <laughs> it's only uh, two euros, so I'm not complaining about that. Now we're going to the garbage can to use. Ah! Oh, look at that. It like flips around. Dump my trash in here. I kind of smell it, actually. Oh, that was very really messy. Does it just turn? Oh! Oh, there's a sensor. I gotta walk.